today, you would take corporate bonds or government bonds and you're willing to litigate? Litigation is always a, um, uh, a last, uh, a last okay. resort in a situation in which there's a dispute about seniority or a claim. Okay. It's part of the, uh, the equation. One of the, one of the risk limiting and value uh, creation uh, uh, strategies is uncorrelation. Uncorrelation is a, um, is a wonderful uh, element to add to an absolute return seeking portfolio because um, if you're doing something that, uh, that has a pattern of risk and return, even if it's volatile, mm -hmm. even if it's binary, make a lot, lose a lot, but a pattern of returns that doesn't have anything to do with the course of the stock or bond markets or uh, anything else in your portfolio, that's an elegant part of the mix. So do you ever, I'd say, do research on a company, and then let's say a company, and then you call up or somebody calls up the CEO and say, this is a way you can improve your company, do this and that, and they say, that's a good idea, I wish I had thought of that? That's interesting. I, I, um, the way you're asking the question, it, um, it's, it's, um, it presupposes that um, the, uh, the response of the company is always um, either anger or hiding under their desks right. or some combination. And that's wrong, you would say? No, sometimes you're actually um, knocking on an open door. My style and our style as a uh, team is um, doing, the, doing the work as thoroughly as we can to develop a thesis, to assess whether we think there really is a, um, a, an, an action or a series of actions that could be taken to, um, to eliminate underperformance or ameliorate a situation. Then contacting a company privately uh, testing with consultants or right. bankers, uh, testing our ideas, and trying to generate a, a dialogue. And uh, sometimes um, you find that you're knocking on an open door. Sometimes there's a, there's a founder who, uh, or a, uh, a management team that's, that's ready to sell out or um, happy to, um, uh, to go on to something else, but they just they don't want to feel that they're deserting uh, their, their uh, staff, their employees. So there's a lot of different reasons why a company that's ready uh, for some kind of reformation right. or um, uh, new blood um, uh, likes to see um, uh, a resolution that can uh, maximize value. How many investment professionals do you now have in your, in your firm? It's about 120. How do the decisions make uh, go forward? Um, I have a co-CEO and a co-CIO, uh, chief investment officer, and his name is John Pollock, and he's been with me since 1989. Um, and in that period of time, um, uh, we more than just complete each other's sentences. The founding impulse <clears throat> of, um, uh, of the hedge fund idea is independence of thinking. It's, it's the opposite of investing by committee. Uh, and um, the earliest hedge fund uh, uh, folks, of course, were by themselves. They were sort of privateers on the world's investment oceans. Um, and I never thought that uh, the craft would be susceptible to an organizational approach, team approach. And I actually never really thought that I would be able to be a good manager and a good team leader. The way it actually works is a, a layered process by which um, we attempt to train people to accept responsibility, to deliver trustworthy uh, insights, inputs, right to have done the work or have, to have commissioned the work. But John or I generally um, uh, approve uh, right. every, <clears throat> every meaningful position and certainly every, um, uh, right. we have deep discussions about every large position. You have an image though of being a person that strikes fear in a lot of CEOs. You must recognize that some people are probably afraid that they're gonna get a call from Paul Singer. So do you, does that image bother you that you have an image of being a tough person and commanding what I've learned over the years is to not care too much about um, um, opprobrium and, and unfair press. It's good when a, um, a corporate executive listens with the understanding that we are real, that we have the capacity to, um, to uh, carry through, and the history of carrying right. through on, our, um, uh, on, on the projects that we undertake, and that we need to be convinced okay. in order to... Um, in order to say, okay, sorry, which sometimes we do. Sorry, we were wrong or doing a great job. Um, uh, so um, it, it doesn't bother me anymore.